Hi, this is Cheryl Johnson, and this will be the first part of a series on assessments and evaluations for deaf and hard of hearing children. This one is focusing on children birth to three. There are six modules, and this first module is talking about the role of parents and why assessment is important. Many times parents think that assessment is left to the professionals, and I want to um, let you know that you are a very integral part of the assessment and you bring more probably to the table than most professionals when they're talking about your child. You're with your child all the time and what you see in your child's development is very, very important to the whole assessment process. So connecting with all of the people on your team is very important. And as part of that, talking about what your values are, what your goals are for your child are critical to guiding them through that whole assessment process um, with you. The connections that you make start the relationships for the whole process during that first three years of your um, IFSP or individual family service plan. So what you do um, to, to develop trust comes over time. It's not trust that is there the minute somebody walks in the door to assess your child. So it's important to have that relationship and let it continue over time and let it be an honest relationship so that you can talk openly with the people that are part of your team and are particularly part of the assessment process. In doing that trust, a lot of it comes from how you follow through on what you have um, committed to doing. So from a, a parent pr perspective, if you agree to do activities um, with your child in the interim between assessments or between when that early intervention provider is with you, we need to make sure we're following through. And the same thing on the professional side. We want to make sure that our professionals are following through on what they have agreed to do for us. So all of that is the teamwork that builds the trust and the relationships that are very, very important. And from a parent perspective, because you're with your child that entire time, you need to share honestly uh, what your child is doing so that they can make adjustments in services or helping you decide what goals are during this period of time. Why should we assess? Assessment is critical because it is the foundation for eligibility, for developing that individual family service plan, the IFSP, and for monitoring the progress that your child will make. The eligibility assessment occurs early on as you enter the system. From that point, then you develop, you do assessment to develop the IFSP. And then you want to monitor your child's progress at frequent intervals to see how they're doing, making progress towards the goals that you have. And if they're not making good progress, then we need to make some adjustments, either in the services that we're doing, the activities, or the goals that we have. 